Welcome back, this is M-Dog, and we are here at Ladoga Archipelago, Archipelago, however you say that. Uh, quick thanks to Bograd, who after my last stream and posted the stream highlights to YouTube, we were uh, looking, talking on that stream about on VK, there's people fishing out here on using um, wacky rig, nasty worms, and uh, he sort of described kind of how they were doing it. So I am going to show you how I think they're doing it, and I'm going to attempt to at least catch a couple fish like this. Uh, I will tell you in my brief testing, by brief testing, I mean I've caught a couple fish to kind of see what it feels like. Um, so far, it does not seem great to me, but um, I have caught a couple fish this way, so, and here we go. So let's give it a try and just see what happens. Um, there's a little perch. All right. So there you go. You've seen a fish be caught. If you have been around the game for a while, you've probably seen little tricks like this before. Um, we used to do this on uh, old Ladoga when we were, what, fishing for char, right? Uh, did it a little different than what we're doing now. We also did some of this at Tunguska, and maybe even before that, even before Old Ladoga, there might have been some spots where we were doing this. Basically, fishing with two spinning or casting setups at the same time. Um, we certainly did this at Yama when it first came out, although that got patched out. Uh, I'm not sure if... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how well this really works. Although supposedly some players have gotten it working well. You've seen I've called all perch and one smelt. Um, so I can't tell you exactly. There may be something that I'm doing different. People that have done this a lot have maybe figured out uh, a trick here. But basically all I'm doing is casting out two ultralight rods and just letting that wacky rig sink. And sometimes while the wacky rig is sinking to the ground you will catch a fish. If it doesn't catch a fish, I'm simply reeling it back in and getting them both set up to go again. One thing that we'll try to do here while I'm going is experiment with how far we're casting. Do you need to cast it farther, closer? Both of these setups are exactly the same. Nasty Worm 4.5009. And we've got a four hook on this one and a size two hook on this one. So that's the setup we're using. Now, supposedly, some people that are doing this have been occasionally catching red char, Xander. Obviously, you've seen the smelt and the perch. Um, and maybe occasionally other fish as well. And of course, you're getting them all on ultralight. So. Now here's two casts in a row where, ooh, crap, never mind, scratch that. I'd almost have to go back and watch the video on that one. Did that happen after I had already reeled it up a little bit? What is this? Is this going to be a burbit or something? It's pulling so it's like straight down. No, that's a Xander. That's what a 2.1 Xander feels like. Yikes. Okay. So, that's what we're doing, folks. We're literally just casting these out. I'm going to try max cast this long. The downside of max cast, is what, as far as I can tell, is going to be that it just takes longer to get them in. You know? So, we're going to hold this one. Then we're going to rotate back to this one. Hold it for a minute. It almost seems like you know, it's just happening on that drop. Sometimes it hits a fish. And if you don't know, which you probably do if you're watching this, but if you don't know, the way you check to see if you have a fish on is by hitting the R button. And if you do have a fish on, you'll get the 
notification that you can't change the real speed, which means that you've got a fish on. Oh, look at that. So that's kind of weird, right? Is it worth doing that where we continue to let it come in? You know what's funny is I just saw a post about using perch as bait on this very map. So if we do get any that's bait size, that's worth noting, but there's probably better ways to get bait size perch than this. All right, so we're not, I'm not gonna reel or anything yet. This is still the, the initial fall. All right, there we go. Obviously, I can tell that this is not too big of a fish. Oh, it is a red char, though, or a char, regular char. So that's kind of cool. And since we don't have both out, I'm going to go ahead and reel this one straight in, and then we'll recast both. It does seem like there's something to it on the fall there. And this is like 12, 17 in the afternoon. This isn't even ideal fishing time, obviously. But I'm just trying to figure out, can you really catch a high enough volume of quality fish to make this better than trolling, right? Now, if you're specifically wanting to catch char, you're going to catch a lot more. Woo! Holy cow. I stand corrected. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, to finish my thought, it, it, it may be that there's a specific fish that you're targeting where this makes sense. Uh, but just in general, you make so much silver and experience from trolling at this map. You're going to have to do pretty well. We did have a weekly UL Xander, so I guess that's the other thing. You got to take into account you're getting that ultralight experience also. Some of these fish are going to be tough to get in. And and I don't have the complete like maxed out best ultralight setups. I mean, mine are pretty good, but you can definitely have a little better. Uh, and that difference from what I have to what you could have. And also some people are just braver in how they set up their ultralights. Um, it all depends on what rods you have, right? You could overload these. These are nice reels. You could overload these a little bit. I could get a little more power out of them, but not on this rod. On my other rod, I could. This one, this rod's ultra uh, test is only 8.5. So we're already running, you know, a little risky business here. All right, so notice the time it's taking us to get this fish in. Let's see how good this fish is, if it's worth all this. I'm thinking that, yeah, you'd rather have Xander than Perch, but what you're really probably hoping for is a high volume of, of char, right? Every time you get a char, red char, whatever, that's when you're probably feeling best about this. Or if you occasionally get really lucky and hit a white fish or something. Um... You know, I say this is taking me a long time to get in. There's no guarantee we will get it in. I think we will, but we're not getting it in yet. I suppose what will happen is eventually the fish will get tired and start coming towards us. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of happening now a little bit. But this is kind of interesting. I mean, I, I'm glad that I'm doing this experiment. Um... And, it, and if it looks fun to you, come try it. I, I'm still, I think, I'll have to see kind of how it goes over the course of some amount of time. Uh, I'm also curious, like, you know, do you get any bites at all at night? I mean, the Xander theoretically would still be somewhat active. Um, 
but I could also imagine the bite rate slowing way down in the evening too. All right, I'm gonna try to get a little more aggressive here. If it pops off, it pops off, right? But we've had it on for a little while, so the chances are decent that we can just pull it right in without popping it off. I mean, we're shift reeling, we're holding the right mouse button down, we're doing all the things. Ah, quit doing that. There we go. It's just gonna pop out of the water, hopefully, in just a second here. Ooh, it's pulling us down. All right. I guess we'll see the leader first. Oh, there it is. Look at that fish. That is a nice Xander. My goodness. All right, way back down. All right, let's try it again. Let us try it again. That's so interesting. Now that was a long fight though. I mean, it's a nice Xander, but that was a long fight. I don't quite have the confidence to just kind of leave them there without picking them up and hitting R. It does seem like typically if we're going to get a fish on it, it's going to hit while we're not holding it though. All right, now we're going to start this process of just doing a little bit of pulling up so it'll drop. Let's see if we can get one this way. We didn't get one on the initial draw on the initial cast, so we'll try this for a bit. If it doesn't happen at all, then you know, next time we'll just pull them straight in, maybe. And get to the resetting part. But we're not losing that much time doing this because we're still shift reeling. You know, when we do have it in our hands. We're just creating as many opportunities as possible for that lure to drop. I think what I do want to do is I mean, I typically can tell when there's a fish on before I've even picked it up. So we've had a couple of casts in a row where it seems like we haven't gotten the bite. By the way, that, oh, there we go. See, you could tell before, I think we've got a fish on both. All right, let's go ahead and, all right, this one's a better one, I think. So let's get this in first. It's almost in anyway, and then we'll hopefully still have the other one on. They're pulling straight down, so I don't feel like we're getting a ton of, um, we're not getting a ton of uh, slack anyway where, for where it would pop off. You notice that I am, oh, that's the other fish. So that one's probably gonna be a little more rare, but if you get a nice black white fish, that would be sweet. And there's a uh, water body record UL Xander and a weekly record UL black whitefish. So we're seeing a lot of records pop up because probably not a lot of people in my region have even tried this. I'm guessing, some might have, but I'm guessing not a ton have. Um, okay. So you notice I'm kind of casting weird direction here and it's just because of where the 
the boat stopped to kind of keep it in the 26 meter hole. I sort of have to cast just south of where the engine block is. So kind of like that. I actually was probably getting a little too far off to the south. So that worked. That worked on both of them, letting it drop as we were reeling it in. All right, so let's try it again, I guess. And I think we fully let it drop back towards the bottom before we, you know, pick it up again. There we go. So let's see if this other one, if the other rod gets one too. Not, doesn't look like it did. That was fun that we got them both on at the same time last time. Oh, it's another black white fish. So interesting. Oh, there is a little fish on this one. So twice in a row, they both got them. And by the way, they were both on the, not on the initial cast but the sub subsequent the subsequent drop so you know this may <laughs> uh, for me it doesn't look like this is going to be the most lucrative thing ever but it is definitely different and i am kind of having fun trying to get a feel for it there we go isn't that weird? It seems like it's happening a lot. Okay, that one has a fish on it too, but it's probably really small. Isn't it weird that the fish are hitting as soon as I put it back into the holder sometimes? Not when it's actually in my hand. There's a little red char. Is it a marker? Oh, it's regular char. I keep thinking it's a red char. What char do we even have here, by the way? And it should be noted, this is only Monday. So any weekly records are, that's a little smelt, any weekly records are literally, you know, very little competition. 24 hours, well, 36 hours, whatever, at this point of competition. It's almost the end of Monday, but still. Okay, so... Um, let's try it again. Again, I'm having fun. I am, I'm curious, like, is there a chance we'll get a really nice fish here at the end of the day? Oh well, yeah, there's always a chance. Will that happen for us though? At first I was like, oh, I don't like how much slack it's creating in the line. But the truth is, it's when there's slack in the line that we're often getting the bites. So you don't mind that slack. And here's another interesting idea. Do we ever do this? Go ahead and cast this one out, even though this one's not fully back in yet. Because we tend to be catching a lot of the fish on our, uh, on our subs subsequent drops that we're doing. So yeah, I think that is going to be the strategy. That way you're constantly getting a chance at the fish. You're not spending any time just straight reeling in. If that makes sense. If I was just waiting on fish on the... On the initial drop... I mean, goodness, we wouldn't hardly be catching anything. If I hadn't sort of stumbled into this tactic of, you know, I'm hitting right click, reeling just a little bit to, catch, to create a bunch of slack and then dropping it back in there. And every once in a while, that's producing a fish bite because it's wacky, right? I mean, I... I suppose this, you know, you might have some success if it was like a spoon with a really good bite rate, maybe. But I feel like some of this strategy is all about that, the wacky rig. Oh, that's probably a smelt, hopefully.
Well, let's keep our strategy. I think there's actually something on the other one too. Something small? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see like if we can get 30 minutes of, ooh, 30 minutes of fishing. Okay, so this one, this fish on the original drop, by the way, worth noting, not on our man-made fake drops, right? This was a legit initial drop. Ooh, what are we doing? Actually, we can go to 28 on this one. I'm going to just be a pretty aggressive reeling these in. I, I don't, I'm starting to believe more and more that speed is the only chance to having efficiency with this technique. And um, you just want to go for it. You just kind of want to go for it. I'm, I'm feeling like. So eventually we'll have some fish pop off, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll catch most of them. And we'll set a couple of weekly record ULs and then I'll let you all come chase me and pass me, I'm sure. There's another Xander. All right, now we go ahead and cast this back out immediately, right? And I don't think I want to touch it. Just let it fall on its own. Until it sits. I mean, we'll know if a fish hits it. All right. That one's almost reeled in. All right, let's go ahead and get this one all the way in and recast it because it's very close. That'll give the other one a chance to sit for a second. And again, I'm not going to touch the other one for a second, for a minute here. All right. Now we'll start it. Because right, I think with Wacky, it's not just the fall. It's those couple of seconds right after it finishes falling. Oh, wait. What's our friction break on? Holy cow. There we go. You know what I mean? With Wacky, it seems like you get bites when, the whack, when, when it's actually still right after movement. Uh, sometimes as well. So I know I'm just sort of creating rules up as we go, but I'm kind of just noticing what's happening and um, immediate bite on the drop that time. Terrific. See if we can get, get another char. Oh, I was going to check and see what the char are on, on this map. I just, I thought, I'm thinking there might be a red char, but I'm, I'm, I might be totally wrong on that. It might just be char regular char. Ladoga. All right, we've got char. Oh, we do have red char. But we don't have any other char. Two chars. Oh, we've got gray char. I wonder if you ever hit gray char doing this. It looked like there was a little bend in the pole. So we've got some kind of little uh, smelt or something here.
any rhyme or reason on the size two hook, which is over here on the left versus the size four, which is on the right. I mean, we've had a couple of good Xander, one on each line. I don't, I don't really think I've noticed a difference. It is kind of interesting that um, we're getting, you know, a decent amount of perch mixed in. Sometimes specialty fishing like this, you maybe tend not to catch perch, but the perch are eating it up. I bet we've had almost 50% perch all overall. Maybe close to it. Maybe not with the smelt. There's been enough smelt that that might throw off the percentages, but... Definitely think it works better bringing the line, I mean, bringing the, the fishing pole up like that. Just it's so much more slack it's creating in the line. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get to see another fish here. Fatty perch. Does this does this art one over here also have a fish? No. All right. I definitely like my uh, max casting with how we're doing it now. I wasn't sure at first if we needed to go max cast, but since we are. Getting a lot of these fish on the return. I think we there's no harm in giving us, you know, that extra amount of time. All right, fish this small. I think I'm going to... I'm going to rotate this other one in at least once. So that was on the initial drop. This one did hit on the initial drop. Again, very small. Probably worth giving this one extra to play there, just in case. Hey, I just want to see a marker one of these. That would be so cool. There's another uh, UL record, though. I think this one's pretty close in now. So I'm just going to finish it off, get a fresh cast on both. Again, the number of UL record, whatever body records we've had, I mean, some of that's kind of legit, but, but most of it's because of the region I'm in, USA, and where we are in the week, right? There we go. That's what we were looking for is can we tease a second bite out of it by dropping it as we were pulling in that perch. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is a nice perch if it's a perch. Hopefully it's not a perch. It's be 600, 700 grams probably. Oh, it is a perch. Nah, 500.
All right, so we'll reel this in and watch that one to see if we see any indication. Yeah, there we go. So that's a decent fish. Can we take the chance? Yeah, we can take a chance. Let's just do it. Now we're starting to get some tactics here, where maybe we're being a little more efficient between the two lines. Although if I get a fish this size on, I'm starting to think, eh, maybe I don't want to tease the other line out. Let's just, let's pull this all the way in. All right, this video is going to go a little longer than I initially thought because I want to see, now that I've kind of gotten a little more comfortable, I'm starting to unlock some of the secrets of how this seems to be working. Ooh. Oh, so heavy. I want to uh, I want to see how the nighttime does. Can we still get bites at night? And if we do, what does it change what species it is? Probably not going to catch perch at night, right? Maybe not char either, though. I'm not sure. Maybe char. Char definitely like those early morning hours. Oh, I hope this is a good fish. Not a Xander? Oh, it is a Xander. I was hoping it might not be a Xander just to see something different that's actually pretty decent size. Xander do add up, though. I mean, I don't mind catching the Xander overall, but... Most of the, the notable fish we've had size-wise have been the Xander, you know? Hope this isn't a uh, sign of things to come. If maybe this slow at night, I don't know. Well, if it completely dies down, then um, then we'll wrap it up shortly. If we're not catching fish at night, I won't make you uh, wait all night. Well, that's a bite. So one thing I was definitely doing wrong in the beginning, I was switching back and forth between the two lines like really fast, thinking that I needed to have it in my hands to feel the bite, but it's actually way more successful to just leave it alone during that initial drop and give it a full chance to catch a fish. Um, and then once it gets down, start playing it like we're doing with this one right now. I don't know if smelt, can you catch smelt at night? I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. See, I think if you start ruling out some of the species that aren't going to bite at night, what are we left with? The occasional Xander, maybe? But I'm not 100% sure on all the species either. So, And do we catch anything during the night that we weren't catching at all during the day? Like, do we occasionally hit a 2 or 3 kilo burbot? I doubt it, but maybe. Ooh, lake trout. Okay, that's something I wasn't expecting. That's something I wasn't expecting. All right, we'll just do it a couple more times before we recast that one. When it gets this close, not that we don't ever, ooh. Okay, oh, see, it's only a matter of time, right? We're gonna not put our friction brake back down and we're just gonna hook into the wrong fish and that'll be GG. We'll pop a leader. We'll have a leader popping party. Have I showed where we are on the map? Yeah, I think I did. We're covering this 26 meter hole. Thanks to Bograd, who's the one who explained what some of the players in other regions were doing to get some of those, um, some of those results with fishing out here. Those two point, those two slightly heavier than two kilo Xander. 
you know, those are like, yeah, you can pull them straight in, but they're pretty, they're pretty mean on ultralight. Anything above that, it's like, okay, got a little fight here. All right, let's get this in and cast. Watch that second line. If it's going to hit it, it'll be on this initial drop. Yeah, I was, I was trying to do this way too fast when I first started. And it definitely affected my results. It was like, you know, I was thinking, I, I knew something was wrong. If, if people were really catching fish this way, I was doing it wrong. And I think what I fi finally figured out is just to slow down. You'll, you'll see the fish bite when it's in the pod. It's not going to be happening most likely when you're in your, in your hands. Just let that, let that, uh, that wacky lure drop back down. Yeah, I mean, now we're fully into nighttime. It's past midnight, fishing in the light of the moon. Uh, but if we don't see another bite here shortly, we'll, we'll call it. I have no doubt that you can occasionally probably catch a fish at night this way. Because um, even trolling at night is not terrible on this map. It's better than most maps. You still get some activity, right? But it, it could be pretty slow, you know? And if you get unlucky, it could be really slow, I would imagine. Other things to try, you could try just using straight fluorocarbon line. Take the leader off. Instead of braided, try straight fluorocarbon. Um... Again, depends on how strong your setup up is and how, how brave you're willing to be. More chance of getting spooled that way, obviously. All right, we're going to do one more cast after this. I mean, you can tell it has definitely slowed down. I mean, we would have never in the day we weren't, once I got the handle handle on it, we weren't ex ever experiencing, you know, two full casts in a row and not catching a couple fish. And we've had zero <clears throat> in the last two casts. So we'll try this one more time, see if we can't get that one more lucky fish. On the initial drop or in the pull in. All right, so that has reached the bottom. Looks like that has two. I hit right click first and then reel just a small amount to kind of tease it up and back down again. And at least during the daytime, it's not bad. And it's fun. It's something different, right? Now that I know what I'm doing, though, I got to say, we could probably do twice this good. <laughs> um, I mean, we, I, I think I've got it down now where we're during the daytime. I'm pretty much going to catch a fish, you know, pretty constantly. Um, so... We'll see how well we did on this, like, you know, experimental day. But I do think you could do a little better than what you've seen here once you have the handle on it. Once you get a feel for how it's working, how where the fish bites are coming in. Have we made any money? I mean, the Xander add up a little bit. 
but we haven't done great. But I'm 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 guessing whatever we've done, it might be a little bit overconfident to say we could do twice that good although I bet we could but you certainly could do better than whatever we've done a f you know a full daylight day knowing what you're doing and I would start at about 3 30 4 a.m because those those Xander and the char they're going to start biting before the sun's fully up I would almost guarantee you just based on what we see at places like um Corey and Volkov with um char or ladoga with char and with xander all right uh one second okay it's been an unusual one but i love these unusual experiences so when I uh, saw that message from, from Bograd, I was like, let's try it. I'm not going to even practice. Let's just get out there and see if we can figure it out. And I'm glad we did. It's been a blast. All right. In terms of fish market, 119 silver. Okay. Like, you know, if you have a bad day trolling Arch, you're probably making 400 silver, right? Um, so... We did get the perch order. <laughs> 34 silver from the perch order. Um, but I, I do think, so first of all, it's just a lot of fun. Second of all, I think there's potential there. Once you get into the, the swing of things, you get the full day. Uh, I, I, I'd be willing to bet you can do all right. But if nothing else, it's fun. Okay, so let's just say it's fun. And if, if you do better than fun, then, then, you're, then you're ahead of the game. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've tried this. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, tight lines, and I will see you next time.